By the end of this video, getting surprised by deadlines will no longer be a problem, and you will have a great framework to organize your semester at university with Asana. Let's get right into it. So this video will not be a basics of Asana, even though I'll be covering exactly each step I'm doing through this recording. Uh, but if you're looking for a more general uh, approach to Asana, for a more uh, business approach or a personal productivity approach, I've covered a video in which I cover how I use this app to organize my semesters and everything. But this video will be more specifically oriented for students, uh, specifically students in North American institutions at university with uh, courses of, uh, happening in semesters of four months, right? Um, that does not mean that if you're in another country, you cannot take some uh, ideas from this video, but it will be mainly focused towards North American university style students. All right, so first we're gonna create a project. So you've got Asana, you've got Asana open, and we're gonna create a project where you're going to a blank project. We're gonna call it like um, winter 2022 uh, semester. And we're gonna go with the list system and we're gonna press continue, go right to project. Okay, so this fresh uh, project, you will create one every semester and we're gonna start off by just creating some basic sections. So we're gonna create a section called midterms. We're gonna create a section for each course. So I'm gonna assume that you're maybe a computer science student, so you're gonna have CP 101, you're gonna have CP 102, you're gonna have CP 103 maybe, CP 104, and let's say you have a light course and you just like light course load and you just got four courses and we're going to finish off with uh, final exams. You can also create some sections to put at the top like goals, um, study strategy or anything else. All right. So I usually put these at the top. Uh, I personally only actually uh, use the uh, study strategies uh, section, but not the goals. Anyway, I'll explain that later. Now that we've got this, we're gonna do something that is really basic, but can really change your life. So I find that Asana actually doesn't have a great notification system, even if you have the mobile app. And so that is why the first thing I do when I open uh, a new uh, semester, um, I immediately sync this project with my Google Calendar. This also works for Microsoft Outlook Calendar or really most uh, online calendars you have there. So to sync it to your online calendar, you're gonna go to the top of your project, you're gonna put the down arrow next to your semester name, you're gonna export, sync to calendar, and you're gonna copy this link right here. So if you have Google Calendar, you're gonna copy this link, and if you have other calendars like Outlook or iCal, uh, you're gonna copy this link. So I'll just show you for the Google Calendar link. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to go over to Google Chrome. I'm going to go down to other calendars in the bottom left. I'm going to from URL and I'm going to paste this calendar here and click add calendar. And just like that, your all events that you put into your Asana project will appear in your overall um, Google Calendar or whatever it may be. Now that you've synced your Google Calendar and your it's not a project. We're just gonna move on and populate the sections that we've created. So the first thing you want to do, and this is where you're really lucky in the North American system to have a syllabus which outlines everything you're gonna have for the rest of the semester. So you know exactly how many final exams you're gonna have, how many midterms, how many assignments, etc. And so you should be able to at this point understand how many midterms you're gonna have. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna add a tasks to the midterm section. We're gonna populate this first. So let's say you go through your CP 101 uh, syllabus and you see that you have uh, two midterms. So we're gonna write CP 101 midterm one. And you know that you're always gonna assign it to yourself. If you don't assign it to yourself, this uh, task will not appear in your calendar. And then you choose a date. So let's say it's gonna be on, what, it's like mid-February. So boom, like that. You might not have the date, but when you do have the date, you can come in and fill this due date. Uh, this is a structure where you can fill in as you kind of go. So we're gonna say we have another midterm for this one. And we kind of add so let's say we have no midterms for CP102 and CP103, but we have one midterm for CP104. And yeah, we don't know the dates yet. We will add them as we go. So there we go. You filled out your midterm section. Um, then I like to fill out my final exam section, kind of get an idea of how many final exams I'm gonna have. So we're gonna guess that for CP101, we have uh, one final exam. I mean, it'd be cruel to have multiple. CP103 has a final exam. 
and then every other course is have like a, a lab or a group project to compensate for no final exam. Okay, now for each of these tasks, what's really important to do is to, ne to, ne to never miss these deadlines is to create a subtask within each of them saying, for example, um, CP 101 uh, midterm in one week. And then you can set the due date for a week before, I think we set it for 15, for a week before when the midterm is. So basically, the midterm is going to be on February 16th, and a week before, we're going to get a notification saying that this midterm is coming up. And that's really important, and we're going to do that for every task we do here, and we're going to assign it to ourselves. Make sure you always assign it to yourself. And we're going to do it to each task so that a week before, we always get a notification of when uh, a, a task becomes uh, like should be at our top of our memory where we should be thinking about it. Um, you know, in first year, I didn't always, uh, sometimes I got caught by surprise by exams and, you know, it was like, okay, well, I'm actually realizing that I've got three days to study for way too much if I, when I should have been looking ahead of my calendar, uh, which is not a big reflex I used to have. So if you don't have that reflex, then that, this, uh, this is a good approach to being able to to constantly be on top of tasks and deadlines, never be surprised. It doesn't mean that you actually do the work, but at least you won't be surprised by it. And uh, not being surprised by it is the first big step towards actually like making sure you're on top of everything. Um, all right. So now we've got the uh, midterm sections and final exam section. So I'm assuming that you've filled out for each of these tasks, you've created a subtask to remind yourself to uh, study this a week before. Um, Another way that you can use these tasks also is if you look in the details, you'll see that you can uh, not only add more subtasks, but you can also add a description. So uh, let's say at some point you find out uh, some details about this uh, uh, midterm and you don't really know where to put them. Well, here is a great place, great place to store information. And then let's say you know that it's going to be on chapter one, two, and three, so you can write chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. And so when you're studying, you've got an all-in-one checklist to kind of to make sure you're studying everything. With each of these tasks, subtasks, being able to have subtasks uh, of their own. Uh, and so you can really organize down to the kind of the most minute uh, detail uh, what you want to be studying and have it all in one task uh, neatly organized here. And so you can do this for each midterm, each final exam, uh, and uh, each uh, course as we're going to get on to it in a second. We're pretty far done already. We're more than halfway done. So next step is going to be to populate each course section. Um, so in the syllabus, not only do you have every uh, lab, uh, or sorry, every exam you're going to have, every midterm you're going to have, but you also have every lab, every assignment, every group project, whatever those may be, all those smaller uh, components of your marks um, that are not exams, you can fill them in here. So let's say we have five assignments. So we're going to put assignment one, assignment two, etc. right? For each task, we're going to assign it to ourselves, put the due date if we have it in the subtask, create a subtask that reminds us that it's uh, to do a week before. And uh, this uh, is, is quite easy to see, especially later on uh, when you have populated all your assignments, you can look into your calendar because you've got some multiple ways of looking at your calendar of your at your list here. You can see it as a board if you want, if you want to see like, okay, well, for CP101, what do I have? But the best way to use this, in my opinion, is for calendar because you can really see on a calendar uh, when you have a lot of things coming up. You can also see your next task uh, due. Uh, something cool that Asana will do is that when a task is in the next week or, or days or something, the, the task will start to go red uh, and change color. And it'll also appear in your My Tasks and your notifications on your phone. So just doing this work at the start of the semester, uh, putting uh, and setting up everything in Asana, transcripting your your uh, syllabus into Asana it is just super, super helpful later down the road to, to make sure that you're always on top of things when uh, when like profs are constantly changing the due dates or, you know, it's hard to kind of uh, get a good grasp on all the details that are changing. And so having kind of an easy structure uh, at a glance where you can look um, and just see what's next, see what's up uh, and never get surprised is really useful. 
Um, and the last kind of thing I'm going to explain uh, on something that you can do in this um, project is with online semesters uh, now, um, some courses uh, are, are online, probably a lot of courses are online now, and uh, uh, something that's new is that they've uploaded all uh, projects and courses and lectures online already, except they only become available on a specific date. Uh, and so what I found myself doing in the past year uh, online has been creating a task called availabilities. And within this availabilities, I'll write, for example, uh, assignment one becomes available. And so the prof will say, for example, let's say, when, when did I put assignment one to be due for? Okay, I didn't put it. So let's assume that uh, this first assignment is due for uh, the, the 4th of February, right? And so within the availabilities, our prof is telling us that you can now start assignment one starting on the 27th of January. And so I can set myself this task, and on the 27th of January, uh, Asana will tell me that this course, uh, this project, this assignment is now available to start. Um, that doesn't mean you have to start on that day, but at least you're aware uh, and you can start earlier. Uh, I found myself especially using this to, to watch all my lectures when I knew that a recording would become available on this day. I would try to always be on top of it and not watch them last second. So yeah, so this is another way you can use uh, Asana is using the availabilities. So with this project Asana, you will have uh, all midterms, you will know all the dates of everything that is up upcoming. You will know a week before that it's upcoming and you will know the exact day when everything is available. And this is all synchronized into your Google Calendar or whatever else it may be. And as you go on uh, through the semester and information changes, you can modify it here uh, as uh, you have new, um, um, new strategies or whatever, or you know, a new ways of studying for exams, and you can all plan it all within each subtask for each respective task. So yeah, um, now I'll kind of quickly glance over this last part, which is um, the first section I created, which is goals or study strategies. So um, it's always good to kind of have this at the top uh, to, to see um, uh, useful things that you might want to tell yourself. Uh, I would often use this if I found a good strategy on YouTube or I studied an exam and did really, really well because I did X strategy, I would note it right here and I would kind of kind of have all these strategies to remind myself of the things that have worked for me and uh, I don't know, just some little tips. I kind of just used it uh, as a miscellaneous tab to kind of uh, help me with uh, anything I needed to, to see recurringly during the semester. And the uh, cool thing about this one is that at the end of the semester, when you've completed all these tasks, everything will be empty, probably except these, this tab because you don't actually check off these tasks, they just stay here. And so at the end of the semester, right, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna duplicate this project and you're basically gonna call it the next semester. So for instead of winter 22, it's gonna be fall 22 maybe. And we go ahead, fall 2022, where is this? There it is, boom. And right here, we've got the same tasks that are gonna load in. So if you had any goals and strategies, these will stay here and then you can just rename all the other sections. So yeah, so that about covers it for this video. Um, hopefully you learned something from it. So hopefully you've got some new ideas to structure your semester and uh, make sure that you're never missing deadlines, you know, because that is the first step. Uh, being in control of your calendar instead of your calendar controlling you, you know, seeing ahead of time through the calendar tab when you're gonna have a heavy semester uh, can be very, very crucial. Um, so yeah, so I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything else um, that you need help with or if you have any questions or, or any feedback on how what's worked for you, what, what do you like about this, uh, and anything I can improve for future videos, please let me know. Uh, so yeah, so have a good day, have a good semester, and I'll see you in the next one.